my goal wasn't to build a universal feature-proof API, even though that's what I did. It was to build Dataset GPT that operates just like ChatGPT, but scrapes the internet for the information you're looking for and returns that as a data set. The amount of data I've been needing over the past month is astounding. From scraping YouTube videos for market research to scraping Amazon to get me data on competitor products to a company I'm hoping to buy. Now imagine one could just type into ChatGPT, give me the 10 most popular YouTube videos from these three channels. And it would just work. Well, that was Dataset GPT. And I actually made some progress on it too. I set off to build it after gaining access to the GPT-4 API beta. I built a simple little application just like ChatGPT. Well, kinda. I built a Node.js application with the API just about as it says in the documentation. My OpenAI API configuration, create chat completion, store it in an array, I wrote some HTML to build a simple UI and a script to log the messages, the chat, my input, and the rest of it just to have it working right and displaying what we need. Ask it a question, there's your response. But I needed to connect Dataset GPT to the internet, not just using the GPT training data and build a scraper to scrape the data I needed. I don't want to be beholden to each company's individual API, and I want to scrape things in a way that avoids bot detection and may be frowned upon. So I built a scraper using Bright Data's new scraping browser, today's sponsor, and a tool that anyone interested in scraping should know about. It's everything you need for scraping at scale without the need to build your own infrastructure. My project uses Node.js and Puppeteer, but you can also use Python and Playray. The overall idea is that it's just a super easy way to click whatever data you need because the website thinks that the scraping browser is a real user. It outsmarts any bot detection software out there by utilizing AI to automatically learn to adapt and bypass these systems. It is a true all-in-one scraping tool that can be called with one simple API. This is how. Another Node.js project with Puppeteer Core, but <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't write a lick of this code. I created a new proxy in Bright Data Scraping Browser, left the name zone one, and came over here to check out code and integration examples. It already has my credentials in there and everything. Copied this code into ChatGPT, said I want to scrape the title and price from books.descrape.com. Using this code, it wrote what I needed. Copied and pasted it into my Node project, and it read flawlessly. And to combine these two applications, I did the same. Just give the code to ChatGPT and have it do it. I, I'm telling y'all, if you do nothing more than just simple tasks like this, AI is coming for you. Although I do have to be incredibly specific and maybe make a couple adjustments, but it gets it done. We run the Node project, ask it to scrape the title and price from books.descrape.com, and it returns the info we're looking for, the title and the price in JSON. But here's where the problem arises. In order for it to be a universal scraper, it effectively needs to create a new scraper for each individual request. Why? Because each web page is drastically different from the next. Bright Data Scraping Browser can do all of the actions automatically, like handling new blocks, capture solving, fingerprints, retries, and, and all of that to appear as an actual real user. But how Puppeteer works to navigate and all that will vary based on the URL given, the data we need in correlation to the URL given, the HTML or JavaScript itself, and it's just different in every single use case. So I pivoted. Screw GPT-4, don't need it. Not until it can build a new scraper for each request and run it, which actually it kind of can, but in a different way. Instead of having GPT-4 built in, I'll just use chat GPT to translate my code for each use case so I can scrape whatever I need. So instead of scraping from books.descrape.com, I'm gonna tell it to rewrite that code to scrape from YouTube. Or if I want to scrape from Amazon, I'll give it that same boilerplate code and tell it I want to scrape from Amazon. So you see, when life gives you lemons, sometimes you just gotta throw those lemons out and use oranges instead. I initially set out to connect GPT-4 to the internet to gather whatever data I needed. But I ended up just using GPT-4 in the form of ChatGPT to make my work easier in building a web scraper that gathers whatever data I need. The reason I call it a future-proof API is because it can do anything the APIs do, but don't run the risk of these companies limiting the flow of data through their APIs. We have the control. But I really want Dataset GPT to come to life in how I originally envisioned it. So I'm open sourcing all of this code, both projects on GitHub, Dataset GPT and Bookscraper in hopes that y'all can figure out how to build it. 
I do like to build these projects myself. As you've seen in many of my project videos, like this computer vision project where I made an AI shoot me in the face when I get distracted. Or if you haven't seen it, maybe you should. But for this one, I need help. Here's how to get started. Fork or clone the repositories. So for the GPT API, you'll need to make an account and can utilize the free tokens. Change my credentials to your credentials. For the Bright Data Scraper, click the link in the video description to make an account and utilize the free spin limit. In Bright Data, go to Dashboard, create a new proxy, name it whatever you want. I, you can just keep it zone one and replace username password with yours. The host URL is the same. Ensure you have all of the dependencies installed using this command for the book scraper and this command for dataset GPT. If you need me to create a wiki or read me or something with this info, let me know. Test each one out, they should work. Now you're ready to combine the two to create my initial vision for dataset GPT, which again was basically just chat GPT, but had the ability to access the internet for real time data and scrape it via Bright Data Scraping Browser and Puppeteer and return it as a dataset. That's it. I'll be keeping my eye out for PRs and progress being made. I appreciate you watching. Remember, if you haven't seen that video about the AI shooting me in the face when I get distracted, well, you can check that out here. Or maybe you'd like one of these two videos over here. I don't care which one you watch, just watch one of them. Till next time.